Hey guys, I'm going to show you another bit of a Reno. Uh, mostly I also want to test my microphone a bit just because I got a new kind of a uh, stand for it, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm going to run a little map for you here. This is a uh, necromant uh, summon rating spirit summoner. It's not anything unique. In fact, I pretty much copied it verbatim uh, from a guide in the forums. I just wanted to give you my take on it. So I'm really not going to explain too much about how mine has changed because it hasn't changed really at all. Uh, but well, I'll give you a taste of the, um, the play style. So I rolled here our Coliseum map. Uh, we're going to have Enfeeble, Player Resistances, uh, Slaying Monsters Close Together, uh, just Beyond and things like that. Uh, we also have, uh, I'm going to have Beyond and Breach on, and I can't think of the last one to put in, so I just put in Ambush. Just to give you an idea of the playstyle and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's get going. So um, I don't think I'm ever going to play another build again, I have to tell you, just because... Uh, it's an amazingly very fast build, uh, you know, you just kind of go, like, the AI on... I, I usually play, like, Classic Summoner, if I do Summoner at all, and, um... Is I think one of the first times I did a real Summon Rating Spirits kind of build. And I love it. I just love it to death. So we got a Double Beyond here, so we're gonna have, like, some... Probably some nasty shit just spawning once in a while. Uh, I am running currently 8 Auras, which is, I think, what the peak was on the other guy's build anyways, so... Also, I think I turned off items. I also managed to work out almost 10k ES. Because, uh... ES is incredibly balanced right now. My first build this league was a, uh... Uh, what was it? What was it called? The, um... It was a duelist. It was an earthquake duelist. And, uh... He had about 6k life. Uh, it was the most I could manage on him. He had poison on hit and all that kind of fun jazz. Uh, I'm dying here. But yeah, he, he had a he had a fair bit of uh, he had a bit he had a fair bit of life on him. So uh, the vault auras you see me running here are vault clarity, vault haste, and vault discipline. Vault discipline basically acts like a kind of like a health potion because uh, you can't just pop a flask whenever you want to. You know, it, this is a minus max map. I'm just still just running right into them, and, and I need my stone golem back. Um, so. Vol Haste is your defensive aura, and it grants you about 75% evasion, I think. Uh, I think I did the math. It's about... it's it's maxed, because I have all that aura effectiveness crap. Uh, so it's all pretty good. Uh, this is the way forward, so let's go clear the map first. So, uh, the reason we use Vol Clarity, though, it's like 30 seconds. It's ridiculous. It's 30 seconds of free uh, casting. And since we're casting off our life right now... Uh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here actually because I think I have a, I think I have a corruption in my stash which I need to use. I hope I do, or else rest in pieces myself, or else I'll just bug my friends. Uh, so yeah, so vault clarity. So since you're casting off your life, it counts as taking damage all the time, so your ES never regenerates while you're casting summon rating spirits. Uh, interesting way, uh, interesting mechanic of how that works. Didn't know it would do that. But uh, what what matters is, uh, yeah, you, you you just basically keep keep casting until you get Vault Clarity, and all of a sudden it's not a problem anymore. It also allow, allows you to do no regen maps because uh, who cares? We use the Stone Golem basically to get like a bunch of uh, because the mana requirements are like ridiculously high on some Raging Spirits. It won't even show me because we're we have Vault Clarity on right now. But it also counts as an extra aura for the uh, Commander in Darkness crap. So all the buffs. So it's actually a pr pretty nice deal. Alright, we have the breach here too. Oh, we'll just clear out the vicinity. I'm not looking to die just quite yet. I did do a very difficult combination of mods. Uh, it was mostly just to showcase that this build is, I wouldn't say immortal, but pretty close to it. Um, it's one of the best builds I think I've ever run. And I would highly, recommend, uh, I'd highly recommend it. I think that the next league I'm going to do, I'm going to basically do like a a magic find variant of it, which the guy also posted up, which is also very nice. So. It honestly is one of the smoothest builds I've ever run. Oh, and by the way, everybody loves you when you party with them, because you give so many auras. Uh, half of these are on generosity and all that kind of crap. It's so good. It's basically like all the damage auras are on generosity. Despite the fact you don't see 8 up here, it's because uh, they're not affecting me right now. Because that's what generosity does. 
But you, you go just so damn fast, it just makes the game so fast paced. I, I just, I can't go back anymore. It's, this build has like ruined the game for me. And I'll ruin the game for you too if you try it, so. For, for that reason, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But it's so, it's so smooth and so nice. I don't think I've ever played, I've always played like a slow ass, like, I think my duelist that I ran was like a slow ass, like, uh, leap slamming, um, I, I think I, I had the Combs Greaves, uh, whatever they are, because they're the, they're the only ones I could think of that, um, that would basically give me any kind of HP whatsoever. So that should give you some idea of, uh, the effective amount of life that I have with this build. So we use the first flask uh, that you see there, Witchfire Brew. Um, we don't use it to for damage over time. We use it to cast vulnerability on everything immediately around me. And also the evasion kind of acts like a nice little buffer as well. Uh, so it's also very nice. So I, I'm just, re you see me recasting Vol, um, Vol Grace just because, as I said, 75% dodge. Let's see, where is it? Actually, it's 56. Oh, and there's someone spawned here. Alright, let's not step into that. We do we are in a minus max with this map, so we're gonna try and play slightly carefully. Now I don't have a I don't have a flask to re uh, get back my life uh, whenever we uh, whenever I lose my golem, uh, which it was the case there. I needed to resummon the golem. I basically just have the point the single point in Shaper, which is the uh, one percent life regen. Uh, speaking of Shaper, I've attempted him already and wasn't able to do it, but I've been playing with my friend Pat. And we, we tried to co-op uh, Shaper. Uh, did not go so well, actually. because uh, Mostly because he's playing also as a... Uh, I'm playing um, as a support lat, and he's support Pat. And uh, the, the joke is we're just a support duo, but mostly he's the guy who runs... I run all the damage stuff, I run all the offensive stuff, he runs all the defensive stuff. And actually around him, uh, he's playing a Guardian variant of like a support build, and... Um, he gives uh, about my my ES goes up to twenty two thousand around him, and it used to be I think twenty five, but he decided to scale it back slightly so he could actually do damage because I kept whining at him. Basically, any time uh, we were it, we're uh, I'm about to die because I just stood and I was distracted. Sorry. Um, yeah, and it, well everything really fucking hurts when it's minus max of this. All right, crappy hat. So. Uh, what was I gonna say? I I, I kept whining because every time I every time we basically weren't able to do content, I would go like, "Dude, you need to do damage. You can't be just me." Because like I kind of made myself out to be a support build too, uh, so that that also that didn't work out too well. Um, I mean, it's just a combo. So, like you can see, like it's just really fast, really spiffy, kind of just to walk around the map, despite the fact this is like, as I said, fairly dangerous mods. Uh, I'm just kind of breezing through it, no problem. Oh, who the hell is this? Alright, we pop full Grace. And he's dead. I think that was one of the Beyond bosses. So we kinda of just we kind of roam around the map, and my one regret, now that I've played this this um, wonderful, wonderful build, is that I didn't shape my atlas. I kind of went for the whole like Oh, let's just unlock everything, because every map is fun. And then I'm like, fuck, I wish I had more shaped strands. Because this is such a fast build for clearing. And like the problem with shield charges, you get stuck on everything. I'm just kind of showing you, and uh, it's it's a wonderful, it's the best uh, ability in my opinion. But it sucks ass when it comes to tra traversing around stuff. Luckily though, they're gonna probably fix it soon, so that's pretty good. So the guy, the guy who made this build is a fucking genius. I just want to say. Uh, as I said, this is the most fun I've had with this game in forever. I made it up to level 94. Uh, and obviously I'm playing in software, uh, so it is definitely something you can play in hardcore and, and people will love you for playing it. I mean, there I saw some other variants of the Necromancer build that I'm doing here, and they dropped some Enraging Spirits for essentially, uh, to basically run 12 wars instead, I think. I think it was 12. Um, and I mean, I'm not much of the kind of guy who likes playing just like pure support. I, I enjoyed playing like with support elements, but I can hold my own kind of a thing, and that was really fun. Because I, I did do some runs with some people, and they and uh, we they basically enjoyed my massive aura boon that that would give. I don't think it's necessarily that much better to run the the twelve hours. Oh shit! I forgot about this guy. All right, I usually in my offhand. Um, this is the boss of the area. 
I, in my offhand, I actually have added fire. I'm leveling in powers to, to use on bosses. And I also have Desecrate there. Uh, and I use that basically... I try and use that during boss fights. Let me just activate Vault Clarity because it lasts for the whole fight. So this guy is slightly difficult. Um, I mean, I'm kind of just pounding on his butt and I'm not even using like... Uh, I'm not even using like my best kind of shit that I can possibly use. You know, I just uh, like um, I'm, I have added. F oh, I do have added fire. All right, whoopsies. Okay, so I am I am actually doing. Uh, okay, I never changed that out. All right, well I'll, I'll give you. I'll, I'll show you. I actually, it's supposed to have Malay splash. I must not change that from the last time I was using it. All right, so we did the entire map with um, added fire, which reduced um, my clear potential, but uh, increased my single target damage. Uh, but even then, I didn't even notice. Until now, I should have probably noticed, but yeah, because you have like 20 of them running around. Unfortunately, whenever I switch hands, a couple of auras get unreserved, but yeah. But I also have a Desecrate here and some other stuff, so. Uh, I mean, I got like a Perfect Shavs and all that kind of crap. Oh, let's see some of the other gear I have. So I used uh, Presence of Chela, uh, Chavron's Revelation. Amazing ring, by the way. I've never used it until this league, just because it was more available. And now i got to try and get it every time, because fuck, it's so good. And, um... I use the Pariah, although you can use, uh, I think Void Eye is also a good option. Void Eye is good if you want to give other people more ES, but I'm greedy, so I fucking put on uh, Pariah. So, uh, and these are some okay gloves. I decided to use Bated Breath because it was easy to get a corruption for increased skill effect duration. I mean, 7% isn't necessarily a lot, but this also gives me a crap ton of ES, uh, like... Yeah, it gives me like a ton. Actually, if I go back to the actual thing. So I have 917 and yeah, it gives me like 700. And I mean, I tried a crystal belt and didn't give me as much. Uh, maybe it's because I don't have enough percentage from the tree. It's probably the reason, but I mean, this has skill effect duration. So I didn't need resistances. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's do that. Um, this, this is the highest ES I could roll uh, on this helmet. As well as because if you look, I got that 3% uh, reduced uh, mana reserved uh, note there because I did the... I did the aura math on that. I mean, the the guy who made the aura calculators, he's probably a handsome guy. So, you know, I, I used that to basically, uh, uh, to, to, I, I figured out that three was like the minimum barrier I needed to squeeze out another aura. So that's why we have that. Two, uh, 257 was the highest I could roll on that. The shield could also use probably some work too. Uh, that would be the next thing I'd change up. Probably for like an exalt, I could probably get like a 500 ES shield. And uh, this last one is, um, I mean, it's not a good pair of boots, but like I rolled 32% movement speed because I was just like going, we were just going ham with the, the essence crafting. And so that's all we did. Oh yeah, we got the United in Dream uh, Careless Sword. So whenever I change out any kind of gems, I have to just recast a couple of auras. That's it. Uh, so I'll give you more of an idea of the links I'm using as well. Um, actually, I don't really want to leave per se, whatever, because uh, I want to go back for that essence. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so some of the links, I got generosity on the uh, uh, Uniting Dream stuff, so actually I'll just show you the, the links here, so actually, is that affected by yeah, because I'm not affected by Envy. It actually has the generosity thing there, you just can't see it because it's like spinning. Here, you know what, just in case you don't believe me. There you go, generosity on that. I didn't know it actually it, could, it could, does actually affect that. It's like a local modifier on the sword, because that grants level 15 Envy, so that's now 40% more for everybody else that round that faster attacks shield charge I'll just show the auras here Hatred uh, I have a level one clarity because that also counts as an aura. I did run a um, uh, What was it called a, rejuvena a rejuvenation totem because it fixed my um, Life issues until I got a hundred percent increased effective buff granted by your stone golems which you need for the life regen because, damn, man, like this, how much, how much mana, mana does this cost? Like 48 mana, and your cast time on it is like 0 0.27. Fuck. It's like three casts, that's over three casts a second almost. Um, so that's some ridiculous stuff. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, so right here. So yeah, we got Wrath, we got all the damage auras, Anger, and we got Discipline, which is a very high level one because uh, of the Pariah, which is very nice. Uh, we also have Grace. I have never appreciated um, evasion with ES as much as I have, have with this build. Uh, it is actually so nice because it's just like 
you see something hitting you and it's like oh no my es is regenerating anyway sucker kind of because you missed so i mean it gives me about how much to dodge like uh sorry evasion is a 42 percent and on top of that you have the dodge from vol grace and then you can also pop the basalt uh if you want to um as of the Witchfire Brew, I have the minimum for the, uh, almost the minimum for damage over time, just because I only care about the vulnerability effect. I mean, the damage over time doesn't really affect me, but the Smoke Cloud is also nice defensively, because then they, can, they come in and they especially can't hit you. Because, like, that raises the evasion to, like, 50%, essentially. Um, what else, what other auras do I have? And then just haste, and that's it, I think. And then, like, Vol Discipline, Vol Grace, and... All that kind of jazz. Oh yeah, I also have a, mor um, a mortal call on casting that was shaken. What a lifesaver this is! It's actually really good. I actually I love that one. So overall, uh, very nice build. I would, as I said, um, I'm not going to talk much more about. I mean, I'll just show you the passive tree that I did. It deviates a little bit, mostly because I uh, couldn't get enough dexterity, um, so I had to get two nodes. Uh, I have mostly minion damage and stuff on some of these jewels and stuff like that. Uh, that's mostly what I went for. It's just some shit that I have. I mean, I I didn't really feel the need to go past it. And I just got two points in these in this ES because I'm uh, I'm level 94. I don't know what to do with it, so I'm just like, ah, I'll just get some ES and decide what to do with it later. So let me go to all the way down to Blood Magic and uh, Champion of the Cause. So I'm probably just gonna get. I'm probably gonna just uh, maybe when I get the third point, or if I manage to drop one of these Dex nodes, I'll maybe go for that Jewel Socket or something. You know, something fun. Uh, we'll see. So overall, I, as I said. Um, most of it's in the in the description below. Uh, so that guy that guy really knows what he's talking about. He's done it way more than I have. Uh, so I even got this essence surge node mostly because uh, it works well with vol discipline. See, faster uh, increased recharge rate also means vol discipline increased uh, increased recharge rate. So you just like tank through literally anything in the game. It's wonderful. As I said, highly I highly recommend it if you like kind of like a fast fast play style. So good. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.